and we are here live on this brand new video that we are doing a tutorial on how to draw Wolverine just want to show you guys real quick pencil 299 eraser 299 electric eraser you're probably looking about 699 yep that's by helix and that's something that I do like to um, use and the retractable eraser is cool too but I don't like using the back of the pen uh, pencil because that eraser sucks anyways um, I'm using an 11 by 17 size uh, of the paper 11 by 17 now what we're gonna do here is start the head of Wolverine this is a portrait of Wolverine and just keep a nice good spherical shape I like to start off with a cool sphere and then we're gonna create the invisible jawline that's there that connects to like the head and that's where the cheekbone is this is where the cheekbone is going to be in right away when you see that little connection with the cheekbone or the sphere then you know where the nose is going to be the nose is probably going to be about two inches to maybe two and a half now what we're going to do here is we're going to continue to create and start on the nose and he is wearing his mask this is Wolverine in the X-Men without the uh, hair he will be wearing uh, the yellow mask with the black thing that goes around his eye so we're gonna start off here with the under the nose area and then his lips um, facial expression is really important you guys know that facial expression is everything it is congruent it is parallel it is important to the structure of the facial dynamics that you are trying to accomplish with your readers with your viewers with your fans so we're gonna use you know the pen with a very light strokes as we continue to finish later with the illustration now we're gonna go on to the jawline uh, the pressure of the pencil still light sketches because obviously we are not there yet now we're gonna go ahead and create the cheekbones highlight a little bit of the eyes see everything starting to form slowly as you can see there's no rules to this um, well there is rules but there's no rules because I want you guys to free your mind just like what Morpheus said Neo I want you to free your mind he says I know what you're trying to do you're trying to free my mind I love the matrix anyways okay so you see that big thing in the back of Wolverine's head yep that's part of the mask and we're gonna create like maybe the little stitches that he's got on his yellow mask and let me turn okay here we go we're gonna go ahead and continue back with the mask and back onto the jawline and guys whatever you do don't forget facial expressions that's so important you must keep that in mind whenever you guys are illustrating faces now we're gonna go on and continue with light light outline on the neck and then back into the eyes over here see I could continue on with the neck but I'm not gonna it's like I'm all over the place with this face because I'm, I get excited you know it just depends on how you feel this is Wolverine from the X-Men and he's one of my favorite characters and right there as I'm trying to explain to you guys everything you, you, you can jump around literally from the head to the nose to the inside part of, of the mask which is by the nose but anyways there's no there's no rules just have fun free your mind Neo free your mind now for me when I'm creating these light lines and I'm getting ready to get into the heavy lines or maybe work on other areas I don't like those little messy lines I don't know why I just like to keep my artwork super clean so keep in mind this is a tutorial for beginners guys there's no rules at this time just free your mind um, you notice here I'm outlining a little bit of 
his mask and then I went from the eye and back to the mask and then I'm going to go back here now to the nose so <laughs> I'm all over the place with Wolverine that's because I'm having so much fun you know yeah I'm having so much fun and just doing this uh, for you guys yep so whoever's watching right now hopefully later on will be millions of people <laughs> this is a new channel and I recently got inspired because of what my nephew was telling me about this new media that he works for. Uh, it's a cool place. You guys probably heard it before. It's called Twitch. But I'm just now starting my platform here for YouTube. And I like YouTube. I use YouTube every day. It's a good way to uh, really reach out to the general fans, the general audience, and be able to connect with people and send your message out so my message is keep drawing keep drawing keep drawing now if you notice here in the drawing I am now starting on the heavy hard lines and wherever you think there's gonna be a shadow keep it thick and if you want to show emphasis and dynamics on the lines you want to keep it a thick line and it disintegrates towards the end like a feather so here's the nose you know that the light is going to be above him so uh, we're going to be able to be see be able to see a little bit of shadow underneath the nose and by the cheek area near his cheeks and those lines right there that I'm doing you guys got to keep it nice and straight yeah, that's super important. Now back to the eyes again. Let's do the little bit of the shadow here. Give him a little bit more dynamic. See, he's starting to form. I'm pretty excited about it. So far, it's starting to turn out pretty well. A little bit of uh, the wrinkles on his nose and the uniform. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's talk about references. So, if you guys are just beginning and you're semi pro, but you know, still in the intermediate area of your skill, <coughs> it definitely helps to um, have some form of reference in front of you so you know what kind of like the eyeball is going to look like, what the mask is going to look like. See, look at this. This here, I'm starting to create the uh, the bags and the other lines. Here you go, see? All right, looks cool. And once you know your facial, I would like to say it, facial anatomical structure but that, I think that sounds wrong uh, facial structure and expression in your muscles that is underlined within the clothing and the the composition of your drawing where the lines and where, where the heavy lines will be everything is just going to finally come together I remember when I used to go to Comic-Con portfolio reviews O M to the capital G. Uh, I met Mark Silvestri, Jim Lee. He was in line, by the way. He was in front of me, and I did not. That was a little Asian dude trying to cut in line. And I look, I said, "Oh, holy baloney! It's Jim Lee." I I was like all nervous. I didn't even know how to like say anything. But when he was he cut in front of me, I was like, "Dude." I know you did not like cut in front of me, did I? He turned around. I just kind of like, hey, Jim, go ahead. You want? Can I buy you lunch too? <laughs> I know, right? So, anyway, that was uh, that was Jim Lee. Then I met Mar uh, Mark Silvestri from Cyberforce and Image Comics. Yep, uh, facial expression is important, guys. So just make sure it's important. So not to get off the subject, but just want to uh, share some of my experience with you guys. Uh, then I met um, met Rob Liefeld. We're not going to say too much about Rob. He is what he is. You know, he does what he does. Uh, he he does what he does. He's cool. He's cool. Um, yeah, met him, and I also met 
the man, the legend, Todd McFarlane. Check this out. See the details on there? Looks good, right? Okay, so, you know, just keep drawing, guys. Keep watching this video. We're getting onto the lines and the heavy mask and the heavy lines and the heavy shadows because we're starting to finally solidify what Wolverine looks like here. Now, my experience with Todd McFarlane was super cool. I, I can't wait. I'm going to post that later on. I met him back in the early 90s. I'd say like 1995, 96. He was super cool. Spawn just came out. I remember when it first came out. Oh, man, everybody was all up on that grill with the Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man. Spawn. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, 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 I wish I also met Greg Capullo, but Greg wasn't there during that time. I, I, miss, I must have missed him at the San Diego Comic-Con. But anyways, let's get back into the drawing here, guys. Um, if you notice, I'm doing heavy hard lines right now real fast underneath the neck. And I'm, then, I'm all, like I said, I'm all over the place. I'm just uh, doing what I feel on how complete this drawing now right here the shadow is going to be obviously on top of his head the light is going to be on top of his head so we're going to create a shadow right on the forehead to give it a dynamic look pay attention this video here is going slightly fast that's why I'm trying to keep up with it as much as I can and telling you guys my past experience uh, through the comic cons but portfolio reviews if you are not a pro and you want to get some super incredible insights in how people can give you professional advice on how to improve your artwork do yourself a favor go to a comic con and meet a professional and ask him how to become a legend like him <laughs> that's the best thing you can say at that point and he'll be your best friend hopefully he's not too busy whoever that professional is but um met, i met mark mike mike turner michael turner for fathom oh man what an amazing artist that and I, i've been wanting to meet um what's his name he has a really cool style very similar to mark silvestri um Will Spartasia for Wet Works. He's really, really cool as well. Yep. Anyway, so here, guys, what I'm doing right now is back onto the neck. We're going to try to solidify the outline of the neck right around the back. You guys can see that. Just keep your lines consistent. If you notice, they're all consistent. And now we're going to get into the real heavy outline in the shadows so we can give a superimposed dy uh, dynamic feel on the neck and reference your necks okay I'm gonna go really fast here and talk to you guys about necks and references so what you want to do is get a book out there go to Barnes & Noble or if they still exist or Walden's book if they still exist or Borders I think Borders still exist yeah um, get a book out there or go to your local library and look at illustration books that dissects the neck so you guys know what necks would look like and cartilage would look like or just do a selfie it doesn't matter and know what it looks like use some form of references or you can use your best friend google ask google neck references and i'll show you all the, all the cartilage that you need and draw that so that way when you're about to draw wolverine or anybody else like what i'm about to draw next is Deadpool that's right I draw Deadpool it's for a cool fan he's a nine-year-old and I want to teach him how to draw Deadpool next that's right I'm a friend of his mom Sarah uh, they're really great friends of mine but anyways here we are we're going to shade this dark heavy part of Wolverine's mask because that's really important and it'll show the dynamics in some form of 2D effects and plus it just looks really really cool with all that pencil lead that's on the paper <laughs> you know but 
enjoy your drawing. I mean, I could have left it blank, but why would I? Even though if I know that this is going to be inked later on anyways, then why color it? Would shade it with pencil. But for me, I want to do this for you guys. I want to take the time and shade it anyways. And then later on, I'm going to color this bad boy in Photoshop, scan it, and ink it, and do what you got to do. But for me, I'm going to color this on Photoshop and give you guys a cool idea of what it looks like for me when I'm coloring it. But that's for the advanced level. Okay, so we got a solidified look here of Wolverine. I think we are going to be almost finished um, contemplating now on what areas I need to work on, like maybe the nose over here couple of lines here and there keep the lines congruent and the pattern has to match obviously because again it's all muscle patterns it's uh, clothing patterns the mask patterns those are the things you guys want to keep in mind and there you go that's what we have so far we're almost finished here and extending the shadows underneath the the cheekbones and then a little bit of shadow underneath the eye over here under the mask and that's it you guys whatever you do click like subscribe and keep watching keep drawing stay happy you guys are awesome